Now we're ready to go ahead and put up the shower wall. Now let me just go ahead and tell you that I've already framed in the, uh, the perimeter all the way around. The other thing is I have not caulked anything yet. What uh, I don't want to do is get my caulking down, get it all nice and pretty, and then start moving things around where it pulls away from the wall or uh, it gets debris in there or anything like that. So I do caulking the very last thing. Now let's transition here. As you can see here, I've already placed the railings up. <clears throat> and let me give you a different angle to show you exactly how I've done that. Okay, so what I've done here is go ahead and take the shower kit out of the box. This has two sliding glass doors. So the railing has to be very, very firm. Of course, I'm working with glass and not plexiglass or anything like this. So obviously, I want to make sure this is secure, that it's safe at all times, and it's done right the first time. It would be a horrible mess to try to caulk everything, get everything set, and then find out your doors hit, or they knock, or any of that craziness, and nothing is, is uh, in line. So, it's important for you to have a couple of things. First off is some uh, tape of any kind. Um, I would probably use plumbers, I'm sorry, carpenters, <laughs> don't use plumbers tape, use carpenters tape, and, um, and also I have a, either a torpedo uh, level or just a, a long level, uh, any kind that you can get with, with a small bubbles. Uh, I was working with one recently and it had too large a bubble so it wouldn't give me a true line in between the black lines. So uh, I couldn't plumb anything that had to get rid of it. Now, the first thing you want to do is um, take the bottom rail and set it down square on the edge of the tub. Now, you have to compensate sometimes because for whatever kit, this particular kit was offset a little bit, so I'm out about an inch or so past the tub. It ideally should be with the tub. However, the client says to me at the last second that he wants a solid wall behind there so I couldn't go to the studs as uh, usually how these are installed. So I had to come out a little bit by compensating that way to give him a, a solid wall, solid feel when he pushes up against it. The um, offset was I'm out past. So I have to compensate for that now putting up the rail. Now, okay, so I've put the bottom rail down. I've centered it. I've used some tape to keep it there. I've also uh, cut it back, oh, let's say about a a little less than a quarter of an inch to compensate for the upright rails because they have to fit down and in between uh, and get centered there okay so then I went ahead and put this up and put the level to it and again use some tape and you can't see the tape let me show you how that I got it just to prove it there it is okay so I've got the tape up everything's level now uh, the, the the catch here was how do I get the distance here, you know, to mark these holes, how do I span that distance about half an inch from, from the rail inside to the wall? So what I did was basically just took a, uh, a screw and my cordless drill and then put it right inside and just tacked it, just tapped it a little bit there and made that, in, in, that, made that mark. Now I'm ready to take all of this off and uh, make sure it's all squared and ready to go. Before I put in my um, screws to secure everything, I want to go ahead and caulk the bottom rail. Let me slide this back down. Right there, okay. So what's going to happen is I'm going to lift this up and this side called the leg, this side I'm going to caulk the inside and put a, a good strong bead there. And then once I set it down and get everything back where it should be, by the way, it won't hurt to go ahead and take a pencil, Let's see if I can grab one right here, and just mark the inside a couple of places. Um, now the reason I, I do this is because um, I want to make sure that I put it back online. So I'm going to mark just a couple of places. That will, this lead will come off of this. Um, this is a metal with a, a metal tub with an enamel coating, so it'll come right off. I'm not worried about that. What I'm more concerned about is just getting this squared and get everything upright. And uh, then I'm going to penetrate 
the, uh, the walls. And just as a side note, there is about a two inch difference between here and the drywall itself. And so what I'm going to use here, uh, usually if you go up against the wall, um, you have the, the kit comes with some plugs and things like this. That's not going to work on this and I don't want to uh, chance it putting up something that's not going to hold. So what I've done is modified this and I've got some four inch nails that, um, screws, sorry, that I know that's going to reach the 2x4 which I installed directly behind uh, these places knowing that I was going to put this rail up. So that's ready to go and we're going to go ahead and proceed with that. Once everything's set, we're going to come back and caulk the inside really, really good. And um, so we'll go there and make sure that no water leaks at all. That's, you don't want that. We've got the railing up, the sides up, everything for the sliding glass door. Now we're ready to put the hinges uh, on the top, the rollers, the holders on top, and um, go ahead and do that. Okay, so we've got a couple of things. First off, we've located the hole. There's two holes in here. We've located the holes, and let's go ahead and slide this section on. It clips inside, and it doesn't move, okay? The next thing is we're going to go ahead and put the roller assembly on top and match up the holes. Then I've got uh, a, a nut and a screw. So I'm going to go ahead, it doesn't matter which one you do, go ahead and match up, get everything lined up there, and do the same thing on the back. Now this is kind of a, uh, an encasement of a nut and a bolt together. Then I've got two flathead screwdrivers. It doesn't matter what kind or where you get them, but you want to make sure that you do this carefully and slowly. You don't want to jam a tool into the glass at all. So one I'm just holding. Okay. Right, now I've got that ready to go there. The instruction says do not over tighten, and I am so not going to over tighten. But I'm going to just get it to where everything's plumb and square and it doesn't move on me. Don't bear down on this at all, and as you can tell, it has a tendency to move and slide. So I've got that now. Well, I'm going to do the other. One on this end, and then do the other door as well. Now that we've got the bracket up on the wall, a couple of things you want to make, be mindful of. If you're working by yourself, make sure that the glass door is uh, on a good foundation, that it's not leaning over, that it won't hit something metal, which the uh, wash rag, the washcloth or towel holder is right here. So um, I just got it on the corner of the wall here behind it. Now the sticker is on the on my right side away from me. So uh, the instructions say to put the the wheel, if you will, up against on the opposite side. So I'm going to put this here on the opposite side. Now let me show you something here. There is um, can't hardly see it's not it's out of focus, but there's. A flat side and then there's a side where the, the piece sticks out. Well, we want the piece that sticks out kind of act like a buffer. And we're going to put this on the center, center um, hole. There's three holes. And we're going to use a Phillips screwdriver. Again, just be really, really mindful that you don't want your tool to slip. Okay, and that's got a locking uh, washer on it so this doesn't uh, slip at all and I'm going to do this on all four of this on both the ends of the door there. Okay this was a little tricky and you have to be pretty strong to do this by yourself. I guess I'm strong because I did it by myself but what I need to tell you first off is when you put the first door in you have to take it and put it the bottom set away from you inside the tub lift it straight up and get it on the back track. Alright, once that's done, 
Then what kind of made me uh, a little apprehensive here was I had to do the same thing except for the front door, put it in its place along with the second door already installed, and then push it down and lift up toward me. Okay, so it kind of unnerved me a little bit putting this on. Just want to let you know it does work. Don't panic. Just go ahead and put it on. Now we're ready to go ahead and place the guide, the center guide, at the bottom of the rail. Okay, now we're ready to insert the uh, guide rail. Now, I'm going to show you from the inside of the tub what this is going to look like, but one thing you need to make sure is that both of the doors are pushed either left or right. It doesn't matter. And so, once that's done, then uh, we know where center is. Okay? Okay, so you get a little bit uh, different look here. Uh, it's more like over my shoulder. So, I want you to see this. It's got a lip to it right here, and it's got a groove underneath. So, you're going to slip that lift it up a little bit, slip that there, and once it's in place, uh, it shouldn't pull out at all. Okay, so we're going to slip this around both sides there. And I got that, and that's centered. Let's do that one more time. Okay, now just a word to the wise, you want to go ahead and close the, the uh, tub drain Plug it however you want to do it. You don't want any of these little small screws falling, and they have a tendency to fall and roll and all that. So, just to where you can see, this is a self-tapping screw. And so I'm going to go ahead and drill it straight into here. And that's all the way down. You don't want to put too much pressure on it, just a little bit to make it snug. Make sure you do get those filings out of the tub. You don't want that in your skin. I'm going to do the same thing here. Make sure it's down. Put it squarely into the fitting. Don't want that to happen, so I'm going to back it out a little bit. Okay, so that's square now. And just to do a little test, it does exactly what I want it to do. It's nice and snug. And that's good. Alright, so this outside, that in, the outside door is going to be one that's uh, stationary. So I don't want it moving at all. So I think we're good there. Let's go on the outside and figure this out together. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and install the uh, towel racks. So there's a, the towel rack goes on the inside and on the outside. There's two different ones here. Okay, so a couple of things we're going to be uh, mindful of is that there's a gasket here in, when you take this apart, taking it apart here, and there's a gasket. I'm going to lay one of these down. Okay, so what I'm going to do here, let me get on the other side, kind of show you. I'm going to put a gasket inside the hole here, and a gasket on the, this side here, and then I'm going to start this one. So, well, and you drop it. I'm just going to get this one here. So I'm going to put these two pieces with the ribs on the inside, with the rib on the inside, and you're going to have to use all of your fingers to make this work. There we go. And I'm just going to get this thing started, that's all I want to do. I'm not going to, not going to even tighten it down or anything. Now let me just show you a close up of what I'm doing. Okay, so I've learned something here automatically. 
is I'm going to put the gasket with the rib side out into this section. Go ahead and pull up this part. And then once I get the screw in there, I'm going to go ahead and put that together like this. So, put this gasket on first, and then do, um, then put the screw in the hole, and then once the screw's in the hole, put the gasket on that end as well. So all I'm doing here is just tightening this up a little bit by hand. Okay? Now, they do have a little hole on the inside here of the screw and um, where you can put a Allen key wrench in there and tighten it up. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and make sure this is on good. Uh, then I'm going to do the inside as well. Now this is what it looks like whenever the bars are up, okay? So this will be on the, uh, on the outside towards the, the toilet. This will be on the inside. This is your inside door because the water comes down this way and you don't want water getting out behind that at all. Okay. So there you have it, guys. A complete tear out of the tub, the walls, the plumbing, everything, and everything put back in. This has been Rick Patterson. Thanks for coming to my videos. Hey, by the way, be sure to subscribe to my channel and catch the next video. See you then.